Okay, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. You've had a bit of wait, but everything is okay. I promise. Maybe. It could be okay. Spawning in the bottom left position as the Red Protoss player from Team Evil Geniuses, it is JYP. And spawning in the top right position as the Blue Zerg player from Team CJ Entis, it is Effort. So uh, he said something. I can't. I can't read that fast. Yoropun. That's Yoropun. That's all I got. Chioga. Chanyon. Ne. So he asked something, and effort said yes. Tokat ija don runha jiro. Whatever that means. So he put the pylon then inside his main base next to his nexus. So this means there's a pretty solid possibility that he goes for a gateway type of play. Um, he could do in-base forge hero style, or liquid hero style, but nope, it's a gateway. Okay, so this is about as much as we expected. JYP um, <clears throat> just opening up with gateway. And not unusual. This map is really, really big as far as the main base and the natural area. So... Um, some players opt to wall, some opt not to. Effort goes out to check. Just wants to see if there's a, a probe coming, I guess. Uh, double gas is on the way. So this is going to be a much less economic version of this uh, of this gateway type expand. It will allow for a very fast warp gate. He could do some sort of other attack, but we will see. As uh, Oh, the drone actually didn't start. He's got the spawning pool coming in, but he, there's nothing actually happening here. There's the hatchery now. He was scared of the probe uh, as far as starting that spawning pool goes, but now he's got the gateway coming in. It's actually really nice. If you can get a Zerg to go pool first when you're gateway expanding, I think that's ideal. Um, since, you know, the Zerg can't, it just kind of puts the Zerg behind. Since they, Well, at least not as far ahead as they could be um, since, I mean, there's no real threat. Uh, at least early enough for a hatch first to worry about. There's the gas being taken as well. The Overlord sees. So he says, okay, there's nothing here. No hat, no Nexus, no pylon. So nothing at the ramp either. It must be um, a gate, a gateway opening of some kind. Uh, probably a gateway expand. A two gate, like a proxy two gate would have already hit a while ago. So he's going to come in and see the gateway. You'll see the cybernetics core. Nexus is going to start up as well. There's nothing here to deny this Nexus from being placed. So he's not going to have any trouble at all uh, getting his expansion up especially with this hatchery closing in as well. So this probe will be chased by the Zerglings. The last thing he wants, obviously, is any type of fast pylon to get set up to, you know, catch him off guard. And the Mothership Core will come in next. We could potentially see a Sentry. He has that the uh, ratio of minerals to gas to pull it off. Um, my, if he wants, if he gets a fast Stalker just to kill the Overlord faster, or at least prevent Overlords from scouting, that's also a possibility. Or he could just not get any tech, but yeah, okay, it's a sentry. I thought so. Makes makes a bit, a bit of sense. Just get the sentry early on. Sentries are really, it's almost never bad to have a sentry because one of the things he can do, aside from if he were to even make any type of push, he can just save the energy by having it really early and use a hallucination to scout in the mid game since he won't have a phoenix, since he hasn't opened up with anything like a stargate. Um, although, that being said, he could add on a stargate very soon. Um... It's definitely an option. He's going to add on a few more gateways at the front. Mothership Core here still uh, playing jockey on these Zerglings, trying to keep them away. Um, and this probe is going to immediately get caught. So he can't set up any type of aggressive position. And, you know, just seeing that he wants to get a probe out here might trigger effort to say, well, maybe I actually have to worry about some level of attack uh, coming in from you. But we'll see now as, well, nice, bring in the pressure. It's just trying to skirt this Zergling away. This way the probe can make it out. So, obviously, um, JYP wants to set up a proxy pylon for an attack. The Overlord will see this probe, however, so he should have some idea of it. Uh, he could just make a few Zerglings and immediately go check. We see six in the production tab almost instantly. And where's the rally? Yeah, right where he thinks that pylon will be. So, very smart play. The Zergling should catch this, and I don't see any way this pylon actually gets up. Um, or at least does anything, because... Despite warp gate finishing, the sentries in the mothership core aren't with the probe yet. So these are should be able to just get over here and just kill this off very easily. It might finish. Depends. I guess if he warps it immediately. <laughs> he's starting the warp gates now. The pylon's taking some damage. The Zerglings are descending upon it. I think he should be able to force a I think he should be able to kill this off before he does anything with it. Two zealots are being warped in. Okay, he's brought the zealots. The pylon will die. 
And after that, it's not, he doesn't have too much else to worry about. He's got the queens here. Um, three zealots, though, and a mothership core could do a lot of damage. So you're just putting out a good chunk of zerglings. There's honest, <laughs> Honestly, though, not that many zerglings on the field. So, yeah, he's just kind of skirting around here. But uh, worst comes to worst, JYP has the recall. So he can always just go home without too much trouble. Um, yeah, so zealots giving a little bit of chase. And he's actually trying to just kill this queen off, which I do like. Getting the queen is always nice. The Zealots will be able to engage these Zerglings, these Time Warped Zerglings, which is such a weird thing to see on creep. The Zealots actually get into the natural. He tried to put up a pylon in the main base, but no luck there. And uh, JYP is being very aggressive on all of this. There's 20 Speedlings on the way, trying to go for a little bit of a counter poke. I guess you call this a poke. But the Sentry's there to deny that. And the Zealots getting in on these Zerglings should be able to take out all of them. The queen, however, should have enough firepower to pick this Zealot off. Especially with the rest of the Zerglings coming out, but now he can either just sit here and fight with these Zealots or he can recall. I guess it's really hard to trade bad with Zealots versus Zerglings, especially with this Mothership Core here. So he's going to pick off a lot of units and take a third base at the same time. Thankfully for effort, of course, he will immediately spot this uh, thanks to his Overlord positioning. But still taking some pokes from this Mothership Core. It's got five kills. Not too bad. Overall, resources lost is uh, actually going to favor the Zerg player as he forces a cancel on the Nexus. Very smart use of those Zerglings. And now JYP says, well, I guess I've just got to just gotta take out these rocks and just move on with my life. But, um, and he just, yeah, just dealing some damage. So, starting to get to work on these rocks. And it's going to take a while, man. Centuries versus rocks is probably one of the most hotly debated matchups in StarCraft 2. But, Hallucinated Phoenix Scout, like I mentioned earlier, gets a read, and he sees, okay, the lair's done. You have a Roach Warren, very, very standard setup. No Evolution Chamber, though, means no upgrades. Twilight Council means potential blink. With this Forge about to finish up plus one, he could go for a plus two setup and just add a ton of Stalkers into his composition, but he also rec has to recognize that, uh, well, I guess he, does, he wouldn't be able to recognize the burrows on the way. There's no telltale sign. He can see the hatchery shivering, but that could also just be another queen. So he gets blink and a Dark Shrine, which is kind of neat. I love how long it takes sentries to kill rocks. Third Nexus is being built once again. These Zerglings trying to bring some pressure. If he catches these sentries, that would be uh, really bad, but he won't. And now we see the Stalker production begin. So he's just... JYP is just setting himself up for a potential mid-game timing with plus two and blink. Force Field's in these roaches saying, yeah, we're going to fight. But then he's like, no, I've actually got a lot of roaches. <laughs> so... He's got to be super careful. There's not that many zealots to tank for this force. The sentries are being isolated. He has to use the force fields to retreat now. A little bit of a bold move here by JYP stepping out like that. He's going to continue to warp in stalkers. He wants to make just stalkers because he's going to have the blink later on. Um, no charge means that the zealots won't really be able to do too much. But that does make these zerglings so much more effective. The roach is still trying their best to force a cancel on this base. He's mostly got to be worried about the roach is trying to snipe these sentries. Oh, nice use of burrow. There's no detection available on the field. There's no robo facility, no stargate. So that means no oracles or observers. And these roaches can just burrow here and chill. They got absolutely no problem. He's got a fourth hatchery underway. He saturated his third base. We see the Hydralisk uh, range upgrade is halfway done. Three Dark Templar are being warped in, but the Overseer immediately gets the scout off, sees the Blink being researched. This Nexus is taking so much damage. It's so low. The Roaches, are they going to be able to pick it off? That's the money question, and he does get the Nexus, and he immediately burrows on top of its rotten corpse. So... We have two Dark Templar traversing the way across the field. What is here to defend? There's an uh, Overseer with these Hydralisks, which should be enough. Uh, yeah, he doesn't get anything at all. Very nice defense so far. Dark Templar slips into the third base, though. Gets uh, un de trois quarter drones. Not uh, game winning, but definitely a nice... It's better than nothing, I guess. As the Overseer sits here just chilling inside of the main base. We have plus two coming very close to finishing, as well as that blink. And... I gotta say, Effort has done such a great job of being the most annoying bastard uh, in this game. The way he just did, used the Roach Burrow to just be um, really, really annoying. Yeah, that's the best word for it, annoying, uh, as, as far as harassing goes. Because the Burrow just allowed him to deny that third base for so long. And the Infestation Pit's coming in now. So this does mean that Effort could move into the Hive. He could get the Vipers out and try to use those to shut down any Colossi. Because let's be frank, you need Colossi to deal with this army. But he's going to force off a few Hydralisks. Very nice here. Cutting it off. Severing the head of the snake at this cliff. Oh, he's forcing the Hydralisks in. He could kill the rocks and drop them on him. But he's rather just going to fight with his actual army. Very, very nice fight here for uh, JYP. Just absolutely obliterating the forces of effort outside of that third. That is exactly the kind of trade that JYP needed after the early losses that he sustained. Um, and really, the, you know, the mostly failed pressure. So let's take, a, let's take a look at some numbers. He has six drones uh, 
uh, excuse me, six uh, probes killed and four drones killed. So very even on the amount of uh, economic harassment that both players done to each other. We have a Dark Templar Zealot drop making its way towards the east side base. And at the same time, the army is positioned towards the northwest third. He can move in with the sentries and use the force fields. There are a lot of hydras though, but he does have a recall available to escape if necessary. Enduring Locust upgrade is being researched. And we have the Dark Templar drop. He's going to let that go ham in this fourth. And at the same time, here come the Zealots in the main base. Important to note, there's no charge, so they're not going to get around too quickly, but this army still poses a serious threat towards the third base. The Hydras are here ready, poised to defend, but this just makes things really easy for him to harass. He's got the Zealots moving in. They've got that plus two attack. They're so difficult to kill, and the Enduring Locust upgrade might be halfway done, but a Darn the Dark Templar has warped in. He hasn't seen the Infestation Pit yet. Finally cleans them up off of the fourth base, but... He really did a fantastic amount of damage, picking up the Dark Templar in the War Prism, and I think now he's going to see that uh, Infestation Pit. He knows. He knows. This army getting forced back, though, if sentries have to burn a lot of their force fields to keep him at bay. And I think that's actually a pretty... This is a pretty nice bit of harass done by the Protoss player. Uh, JYP definitely got uh, his money's worth for that attack by delaying the mining and also killing off a reasonable number of drones. He's up to 17 workers killed now. But we also... Ah, losing the War Prism sucks. But we also have to take into consideration that now that he knows about the tech coming, he's probably going to... I mean, I feel like he, there's a potential for him to just add on another robotics facility. Um, Colossi are definitely one of the units you need to take out uh, composition based on swarm hosts like this that's going to be coming out. So two swarm hosts are on the way. Aspire as well. Still no Hive, but extra static defense being added in the main. Makes sense. Um, I'd almost like to see another War Prism, but I feel like you need the Colossi to deal with the Locust. In fact, if you can push before there's enough Swarm Hosts on the field, then the Colossi, even a low count, could be able to just break this. We'll grab this Overlord. No chance of pooping creep on that potential fourth base. The Hydras are here, but so are the Colossi. There's no range upgrade yet, though, so a little bit difficult for them to get as close as they'd like to. We'll blink straight on top of Effort's army, and Effort says, yep, you've opened up your back door now. There's a little bit of an opportunity for him to run in. There's Zealot. Oh, using the recall to move around his own base. Very kinky play. Here. I love it. JYP is going to lose absolutely nothing defending this. And he's uh, he's gotten some good trades. So the Swarm Host count is slowly rising. How many how many do we have? Ten on the field. Um, Pathogen Glands is being researched. Additional Spine Crawlers are being added for defense. Zergling run by towards this fourth base on the east side. He's going to pick off some Zealots. He wants to get the wraparound on the Nexus at the same time. Trying to pressure the front of the third base. No luck there. And so far JYP is actually holding pretty damn well. Another Colossus is going to pop out. These Zerglings want to get some harass on the, on the probes, but uh, there should be enough here to really prevent this from being too big of a problem. He will grab a few probes, but 75 workers. He's still, he's still sitting pretty um, as that Colossus count rises, as I stated. So he's got two Colossi here to help hold this position. Of course, these pylons are a really nice preventing runbys. We'll just force field these Locust uh, on the ramp. Looks like we have another Dark Templar being sent in to harass, but there's a Spine, a Spore, and a Queen. Won't do too much damage um, for our Protoss player, but he's getting ready to move in on the right side. Now, Roach is not going to find any foothold. The Locusts are trying to stream inside of the third base, but he needs to be careful with where he rallies those. If he sends another wave up towards the third, he could find himself with no defense, so he will retreat instead. Pretty smart play. There's a lot of creep here, but the Observer will allow him to clear this out. He needs to be careful about this Rock Tower. <laughs> getting pinched here is a serious possibility. And uh, he is going to retreat. Now, there's the force fields being dropped. And JYP needs to be so careful. The Corruptors are descending upon these Colossi. He's going to lose one Colossus. The second one is getting so low. He's contaminated as well. And he will get that last hit off. The Mothership Core also getting sniped. He does manage to use the Time Warp. He's trying to use the slowed Hydralisk position to pick off these Corruptors. But he's having a really rough time getting Gravitic Drive for the War Prisms. And at the same time, adding on to the War Prism. But without any Colossi, he's only got one and a single robotics facility. It's going to be so difficult difficult for him to actually replenish the units he needs to stop the swarm host. He's just going to keep pressing. The swarm host are going to be so cost effective, only 10 of them, but that's more than enough with these corruptors to shut down anything that uh, that JYP sets up to defend. War Prism is moving out. What can he make happen? Four zealots are inside. A drop at this third, uh, fourth base could be devastating, but now the locusts are descending upon this third. Picking this apart, he grabs a cannon. Of course, uh, Thing, they have that limited amount of life, but DT is being warped in defensively. Very nice play. There's no overseer here to help hold this attack off. Uh, and there are still some roaches in the back that have picked off a few probes. Nothing serious, though. This Nexus being target fired. Locust attack. They do so much damage. He just picks the Nexus off. No big deal, man, uh, at all. But the Zealot warp and has hit the main base. He's bringing him in. He's got the. He still doesn't actually have the charge this time around. He's making a transition into the Templar. 
uh, just not getting his armor upgrades as well, but he could snipe this Spire with the Zealots. The Corruptors find themselves a wonderful little war prison to pick off. And JYP, he's starting to fall apart here a little bit. Uh, additional spines. I mean, this is going to build a great wall of spine crawler now with these swarm hosts and say, yeah, you can't pressure me. There's no, ma there's no way for you to actually attack me or hurt me. JYP, though, he really just needs to keep this fourth base alive. As long as he can keep his economy um, at least in some reasonable shape, then he should be okay. But having bases like this get sniped up by the Swarm Host is a huge problem. Now moving in once again. Colossi having some trouble with this. He needs a few more. Uh, a few more Colossi. I think you need at least like a five or six to start to really clean through these waves of locusts quickly enough that you can press through them. Um, but that's just going to make things tougher because he's got all the static defense everywhere to just cover any any level of assault he can bring. He's going to force him to fight the main army um, <laughs> if, if he wants to get anywhere with this. So moving in, the DTs get fungal. There's actually no overseer, so very nice fungal to catch those. And he does need to be careful. One fungal growth could spell doom and gloom for JYP as that's all he's going to need to lock him in place. And then these locusts will just, just completely eviscerate him. So... He's going to step up now. I love that he's got static defense outside of his third base. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm that close to you. Um, Storm is coming in, but there's a lot of infestors. He needs to be very, very patient with how he steps out onto the field. The Nexus of the third is done again, but blinks up. Picks off a Corruptor. Very, very nice. And as long as he can find the best way to actually stay between his two bases, he should be fine. Oh, what the hell is this? He's just going to build hatcheries. Efforts like, man, I got this game. I don't even know why you're still casting this. It's basically over as uh, he just continues to press forward. Although these hatcheries, man, they could help him spread the creep. Could help him with the, uh, you know, they're just giant. At, at this point, he's got so much money. He's like, yeah, let's just build some giant freaking creep tumors for the hell of it. And I think uh, he just, JYP's going to see this and he's like feeling, oh, man, this is tough. This is a rough spot to be in. He's moving in. The zealots try to harass. No luck whatsoever. Such a late charge upgrade for the evil genius. This Protoss player trying to make something happen. And uh, effort. Man, he's just moving these roaches, and there's a good amount of cannons here to help defend. The Dark Templar is trying to pick off the proxy hatcheries, but he's also going to press him with the Locust at the front at the same time, and he does need to be careful, though. One good engagement for JYP could make things really rough, but there's so much banked up. 4,000 minerals, 3,000 gas. Yeah, and you know what? Screw it. He's going to need, like, three good engagements to actually win this game. He's going to need three good engagements in a row where he basically loses nothing, um, and that's a problem because the Swarm Host spawned free units, so killing those don't really do anything for him. Uh, he has killed the, the manor hatcheries, which I guess is nice. He's not even canceling them. But uh, there's a Locust. He's going to hit him with the Locust from one side and the main army from another. I really like this. Gets the Fungal on the Templar. Oh, another Fungal or two could, could really do him in, but won't be a problem. Has a hatchery going up on the right side. And these Roaches, they, I mean, he's playing Whack-A-Roach basically with that. Um... The army for the Protoss player is still pretty strong. He's throwing some storms. Not really hitting too much, though. And <laughs> the Templar are all either sniped or forced to morph. And he's going for the Colossus. One of them will topple. Uses the recall afterwards trying to get out of there. And he will make it back to that third base. But there's so much money for effort. He's still got four. He's got like 4,000 gas and almost 6,000 minerals. This is absurd. This is, this, is act, this is actually absurd. He's got Christmas shopping money here. Um, plus two attack is coming in for effort. DT going to town on this base. I will say that JYP is on his. He's really he's really hanging in there. Like he is. He's refusing to die, and I, I have to give him credit for that. He's really being a pain in the ass to uh, to effort as he moves in with the rest of these stalkers. But this hatchery is getting very low. One fungal will end this DT's life, and he's just gonna run away. Oh, misses. Oh, misses again. Man, they made fungal a projectile, and suddenly, suddenly JYP was able to dodge two fungals. Dropping the storms on the swarm host. He would love to kill these swarm hosts off. He's close enough to storm them, actually. But he gets fungled. The Templar last century get fungled. Throws the storms on the Hydralisks, but still going to lose absolutely everything. And put some force fields as well. JYP is having, you know, this is the fight of his life trying to stay alive in this situation. And this is his way of just saying, yep, it's about to really end. 31 Mutalisks on the way. He would make 10, 15, 14, 15 more if he had the supply available. But... That's the curse of being maxed out. Catches another Dark Templar on the right side. No harass for you, he says. And the Swarm Host, the Locusts are trying to press in. And, I mean, what can JYP really do? Every time he loses a unit now, it's like, yeah, dude, Locusts don't actually cost anything. He's just losing. He's losing free units. The Zealots come in. He's going to lose another. Well, he gets close to losing another Photon Cannon. He's going to press here. Now the Mutas come in. And JYP's like, well, I do have a lot of Stalkers. If I get a couple good Storms and my Stalkers can blink under the Mutalisks, that might be enough. But... 
I don't know. He's just going to continue to press and actually blinks on the Infestors. He's going to kill the Infestors for free. Very nice. Those are quite expensive units. The Colossus almost getting caught up by these uh, Locusts. And the Mutas are like, yep, I'm just going to kill the Nexus and leave. Have fun with that. Stalker's giving chase, blinking, and he's actually doing a lot of damage. This is a... I mean, Effort's throwing away a lot here, but when you've got this much money, you can afford to. He's only actually down about 1,000 resources worth of lost units, so... Bye-bye, Dark Shrine, and uh, the only... Yeah, he's going to build 14 Swarm Hosts. What a, talk about a... He's going to give JYP the kiss of a slow and painful death, it seems, as these Mutalisks just run around and kill everything else, so... JIP realizes he has to do something. So he's going to come here and try to pick this base off. It only has enough uh, hit points to survive maybe two or three attacks. So at the same time, he's going to lose everything in his main base. I'm wondering, where's the tech? Okay, where's the cybernetics core? Okay, that's gone. Um, has he rebuilt it anywhere? He's trying. No, yeah, okay. So no cybernetics core. No more stalkers are going to come onto the map. Um, he can still build Colossi. Actually, his Robo's about to be unpowered. He can't build Templar anymore, so that's it. All he can do is Warp and Zealots, which don't do anything versus Mutalisk. So he is he's in really rough shape. The Mutalisk count right now uh, is 22. There are 23 Swarm Hosts in the map. Zealot gets in here. Come, actually, dealing some damage, picking off some drones. Pretty nice here, but I'm just wondering how he plans to actually take this army out. These Mutalisks, they literally never have to fight against this force. They can just, they can just dance forever. Um, like that one Usher song. But Templar Archives is trying to be rebuilt. Of course, just keep in mind that he can't just leave this base here because all the gateways here, that's like all of his production, pretty much. Um, he does have some photon cannons, but they're not covering the mineral line, so the mutas are going to come in here and get some more free probe kills. And, uh, yeah, really, really nice here. Uh, trying to engage some of these swarm hosts, but the locusts, they... Well, they'll be back. That's all I have to say. And the mutas are going to destroy this, uh, this nexus. There's no way to save this for JYP. And this, this is it. I, I, what can he really do? He's At some point, it's going to be like Terran versus Terran where you just run into the siege tank line because that's it's just it. Just, just end it. Um, as these just continue to just attack him. He's dropping zealots. JYP's giving it his all. He's literally trying everything he could possibly do. And you know what? He said he could only warp in zealots, but he's supply blocked, so he can't warp in anything anymore. Um, and let's see. What's he going to do? What do you do? The Locust is continuing to attack him. He's storming the Locust. That's not... It's not a cost-effective use of Storm. And Blink's on top of the Infestors, which is really nice. He might actually grab one of these, one or two of these uh, Locusts. He's, sta he's storming the Swarm Host very, very nicely. But he's got to be careful about actually fighting against the Locusts. The Zealots are still going to town inside this base. JYP, <laughs> JYP dies hard. Um, and yeah, he's just warping in Zealots. Unfortunately, Zealots are, I think, the least cost-effective unit in the game versus Swarm Hosts. Except for, like, Workers. Maybe Zerglings. Um... And now he's coming in. Muta's grabbed the Observer. Oh, he kills the Observer. So now there's no way to actually kill this anymore. Um, he's dropping the Storms on the Swarm Hosts, on the Locusts and Swarm Hosts themselves. But the Mutas are dancing over the Protoss army. He says, I don't even care if you kill these things off. And I mean, he's, he's playing really cockily. He's actually going to kill these Mutas, which is kind of funny to think about. Um, effort showing a very, very finesse uh, amount of BM in this game with his dancing but he he still thinks he's like man there's still no way i could possibly lose this game um effort you've lost most of your bank i mean if he throws away another hundred supply for free i'd say jyp's back in this game um because he's just literally he's like yeah let's just win with mass swarm hosts and investors screw it um eight corruptors are on the way and i think this is going to be the death blow uh grabs a fungal on the protoss army bringing it back JYP getting hit with the Fungals and the Infested Terrans at the same time, doing their best to hold on, but everything is going to die. The Infestors are dancing for effort. The Colossi are starting to dance as well with the Stalkers. GG and effort will take this game over JYP. The CJ Antis, Zerg. Wow, what, what a game.